Hey everyone, this is Aisha of Aisha Designed It and welcome back to my channel. Well, today we are going to be learning how to make a rhinestone template. I'm going to be going into Silhouette Studio Business Edition and yes, you need Business Edition in order to make rhinestone templates. Um, it's going to be a, be a beginner friendly design that I'm going to be making because we all know Valentine's Day is around the corner. So I am going to be making this gorgeous design, very simple. And I want you to follow along with me as I make it, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so as you see, I am in Silhouette Studio Business Edition. And again, you will need Business Edition in order to make the rhinestone templates. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be making this simple Valentine's Day design. And I'm just going to be using the word love, L-O-V-E. -E. So what you will need to do is come over here to where to this A right here, and this is your uh, for text. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to click on it, come over here to this area right here, which I'm gonna call the canvas, click on it. And as you see, this little circle with the little, um, the little things in the middle will come up. So all you have to do is type out what you're gonna be typing out. In this case, I'm gonna type out love. L O B E. All right, so another thing that you have to do is go and find your font, whatever type of font that you want. So I am going to be going over to, let's see. All right, so I'm going to click on it. So I'm going to be going over here to the right hand side. Okay, so now the textile panel is where you're going to be finding your font. So I'm just going to click it. And as you see, this is the textile area. You come on down to right here where you see impact, aerial, and all the different fonts that you can use. So I'm going to be finding me um, a pretty thick font because with the word love, you want a pretty thick font, okay? So what I'm going to do, as you see right here, it says enter preview text here. So I'm just going to type out the word love right here, um, L. O V E. All right, so now what that do, once you type that word there, it uh, love come up in every one of these fonts so that you can stroll through here and see which one you like the best. That would keep you from having to go in and, um, you know, go from font to font to see which one you like. So I'm going to find me one that I want to use. And like I said, I want it to be a pretty thick font um, because I am going to be putting it on my shirt. I'm going to make me a Valentine's Day shirt. So I'm going to go up because I did see one that I like and I'm going to be using, let me see, this one here. I like this one. So I'm going to click it and it come up as the impact font. All right, so I'm going to be using this one. It's impact font. And so I'm going to come back over here to my area where I typed in love. And as you see, it changed to that particular font that I want to use. So what I'm going to do, I am going to size it. I'm going to make it bigger so that we can look at it together. All right. All right, so I'm going to enlarge it. All right, so that's pretty large. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. All right, so now what I want to do before I do anything else is to get my sizing correct, all right? So what I want you to pay attention to is right here at the top, the line right here at the top, and the line right here at the bottom. So as you see, these lines are not meeting right here to the top of this love, okay? Um, and the bottom one is not meeting to the bottom part of this love right here. So I don't want that because you want them both to meet so that you can have an accurate measurement um, of your of your rhinestone. Because one thing about rhinestone templates, you have to have the accurate um, measurements, which is the width and the length, in order to put it into, um, I'm cutting mine out in Cricut Design Space, so that when you send it over to Cricut Design Space, you will have the accurate measurements so that you your stones will be placed. Um, in the, you know, the, the area where it's supposed to be placed, okay? So what I'm going to do in order to size this correctly is to right-click, all right, right-click on 
the entire um, image. Go all the way down to where you see ungroup. So I'm going to press ungroup. All right, so what did you see? You see right here, the line came down to meet the top of this, um, the love sign here. And as you see, the bottom came up to meet this bottom part, okay? So now you can get an accurate measurement of what it is that, you know, you want to um, get the accurate measurements, okay? So um, what I want to do also, while I'm over here and have all of this ungrouped, I want to go ahead and make sure that all of them are sized appropriately at the top and the bottom, okay? All right, and what I want to do also is to go ahead and move over any letters that I want to move over so they won't be, be grouped so, um, so close together, okay? So let me go ahead and move this. Okay, so let me go ahead and move this L over. Okay, this O. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move this E over. And I'm going to move this V over. Okay, so that's the way I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and size everything while it's, while it's like this, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and get everything to my liking. Okay, I'm trying to click on this L. Okay, there it is. I'm going to get it over just a little bit. You don't want it over too far, but I want it to be um, grouped over enough. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put it in the right area. All right, so I like that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to group it back together. So you want to make sure that you get every letter. So I'm going to highlight the L, the O, the V, and the E, as you see right there. Okay? So now what you do after you do that is to... um go ahead and group it. So right click, go down to group and group it. So that means once you group it back together, it is in one, um, it's in, it is, you know, it moves together. It's not separate. Okay. So now what I can do is go ahead and get my accurate <clears throat> measurements, go ahead and size it to the size that I want. All right. So I'm going to size it to about, um, 4. Point, okay, 4.5 is what I'm going to do, all right? All right, so I'm going to bring it down to about 11, no, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's at 11.35, and I'm going to bring it to about 4. Point, um, let me see. I'm going to bring it to about 4.7. Okay. Yeah. About right there is where I want it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead, go back over to the, um, the left hand side because I do not want this letter O. Okay. So what I'm going to do again, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to highlight it again. Now I could have did it earlier when I was in here, when I was, um, sizing everything, but I just wanted to show you how, you know, you can uh, size everything and then group it back. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back up under here and I'm going to ungroup it. Okay. I'm going to take this letter O out because I do not want it because I am going to be put in a heart. Remember, this is a Valentine's Day um, shirt that I'm making. So now what you want to do to find the heart is come over to the left hand side, go down to where you see this little star or whatever, you know, whatever shape is going to be right here. I'm going to go over to I find the heart, which is right here. I'm going to click it. 
So once I click the heart, I'm going to bring it back over to my canvas. I'm into my little area here. And I am going to just go ahead and size it to, I'm going to go ahead and size it and then I can make it smaller if I would like to, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put my heart here. All right. Uh oh. Okay. So once you put your heart or whatever shape you want to go, once you want to put right there, um, you can just. I'm gonna delete this. Now. Okay. So once you put the shape, go over here and press the A again. All right. As you see, it put these other two hearts here, which I don't want. So I'm just gonna go and I'm going to, um, delete those. All right, so as you see, I have the heart here. All right, so the heart is pretty big, as you can see here, and I don't want it to cover um, my V. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take it down a little bit to size it just like I want it. So let me go ahead and size it to what I think is you know what I want it to be so oh, I like that that's cute but I think I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit all right okay I like the way this look and while you are here and while it's ungrouped you still can go ahead and move it over a little bit okay so I'm gonna move it I'm gonna move it over just a tad my V right here, I'm going to move it over some. I'm going to move my heart over a little bit here, just a tad. All right, and I'm going to just, you know, have my, uh, I'm going to move my E back a little bit because it looks, um, it looked like it might have been a little over too far. So I just try, you know, trying to look here at the top to make sure everything is lined up. And at the bottom to make sure everything is lined up. And everything looks pretty good. I like the heart where it is. So what we do is go ahead and group everything back together. So we're going to go grab the L, grab the heart, grab the V, and grab the E. Okay? You're going to grab everything, and you're going to right-click, and you're going to go down and group it back together right here. All right, so once you group it back together, and you click it, everything is in one, it's one image again, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this O off, going to delete it because I don't need it now. All right, so as you see, this love is the design that we're going to be working with. All right, so now what we want to do is, okay, make sure that it's grouped together. Now we want to come over to the right-hand side. We want to click on where it says open field panel all right now what this field panel is is where you can come on here and choose your colors okay whatever color you want it to be you can have it all right we're going to click on red as you see it will turn red you if you want it black you can click, click on black if you want it gray you can click on gray whatever color that you want but um i'm going to choose the pink now there's a light pink and there's a um you know this color pink the hot pink. Now I have mm, I would do the hot pink but I think I'm going to do the light pink, okay? And the reason why I'm going to do the lighter pink so that you can see something that I'm going to show you in a few minutes, okay? All right, so now that we have that, we're going to come back over here to our design. All right, so now we're back at our design. So let me zoom in so that you can see what I'm about to show you. All right, so as you see, you see the pink, okay? You see the pink in the L, the heart, the V, and the E over here. But what else do you see? You also see a red line that goes around the L, that goes around the heart, the V, and you also see it on this E. All right, I do not want that, okay? So what you can do in order to take that off, 
you can go back over to the right hand side okay you go down to the line style panel which it is the one right up under the one where you did your colors okay it has the little lines on it and this is the line style panel you click on the second one that shows the line and you can come right here to where it says line color and you can take it off because what this is it's just coloring the outsides of the line you can either come here and take it off or you can go over to the left hand side as you see this is the color that you chose for your design to be in my case pink i'm not going to go there but you go right here right beside it and you see there's a red box i don't want that i don't want the red box around my my um my letters so what i'm going to do i'm going to click it and i'm going to come down right here to where you see this little I, i'm going to call it a triangle so what i'm going to do now watch this watch this um these letters right here now watch the red be removed from the letters once i press this okay so i'm going to click it i'm going to go right here to where the little triangle is i'm going to click it and it's going to take the red off all right let's go see did you all see that it took the red from around the letters let me zoom in again to show you all right remember you saw red around the letters around the heart the v and the l but now you do not see it anymore all right so that's um that's what you do in order to remove that all right so the next thing we're going to do we're going to come back over to the right hand side all right and um yeah i showed you the fonts okay so now what we're going to do we're going to go to the rhinestone panel okay so the rhinestone panel is all the way here at the bottom and it looks like i'm going to call it a globe because it looks like one of those round globes to me all right you can choose it here or you can come at the very top to where it says panels at the very top we're going to try the one that said panels okay you're going to come all the way down to where it says rhinestones and you click it okay so now you come over here the little box come up here and it says rhinestones all right so now we're going to go over each and every one of these little sections so let's go down to where it says rhinestone effect so you have rhinestone effect you have rhinestone size you have rhinestone spacing you have draw rhinestones you have release rhinestones and you also have totals and it says all shapes okay so now what we're going to do we're going to go back up to where it says rhinestone effect so if you click on the very first one as you see there's no rhinestones okay all right let me click on this so that you can see all right so if i click on it it stays the same there's no rhinestones because that's the no rhinestone effect so let's go to the very next one all right now when you go to the to the next one as you see there's rhinestones but where are the rhinestones at the rhinestones are around the edge of the letters okay as you see right here so this one is called edge all right so let's go to the next one and this one is called linear okay so as you see the linear is really pretty i love this one all right and as you see each of the rhinestones are filled in here all right so the last one is called the radial the radial field and as you see the radial field is beautiful also it's just that um you know it's up to you if you would like to come in and add um rhinestones in the area where it seems like some of the rhinestones are missing or you know spaced out okay it's totally up to you whichever one you choose is going to be your design but i am going to go back and i'm going to choose this one the linear okay all right so the next thing we're going to look at is come up underneath the rhinestone effect and it's going to be the rhinestone size so as you see you have four different sizes here you have the 6SS or the SS6 stones. You have the 10SS or SS10 stones. You have the 16SS or the SS16 stones. And you also have the 20SS or the SS20 stones. I mean, they're called either one. But the most um, 
the one that is uh, most popular in the rhinestone world is the SS10 stones, okay? So that's what I'm going to be working with, the SS10 stones. And as you see, if you saw this, I'm going to go back over it again. The 6 SS stones are very small stones. The 10 SS stones are uh, bigger than the 6 SS. The 16 SS is very large stones. And of course, the 20 SS are the large ones, okay? I just want you to see that and how it changed up the design. All right, so the next thing we're going to be looking at is rhinestone spacing. Now, the rhinestone spacing is very important because this is going to um, space out your rhinestones. If you want your rhinestones closer, or you may want your rhinestones to be farther apart, okay? It just depends, all right? So just remember, the higher the zero, the farther apart, <clears throat> the farther apart the stones will be, and the lower the zeros, the closer your stones will be, okay? So right now, the default is at 0 0.039. All right, so we, I'm going to change it. I mean, the 0 0.039 is, you know, it's nice. I like it. But I'm going to show you what I was talking about when I said, you know, your spacing. So let's go ahead and erase this. And I'm going to start with um, 0 0.025. Zero two five. Let's just see what that looks like. And I'm going to hit return. All right. So as you see, the 0 0.025 looks really good also. All right. So we're going to try another one. Let's try 0, 0.0. Um, what? One, two. All right. So as you see, the, it makes a difference in the stones. The stones are a little closer. And, um, as you see in this heart right here, you have three stones at the top and then, you know, it changed. The heart changed a little bit. So let's go up some. Let's go to 0 0.225. As you see, it's farther apart because I went up higher. Okay. So let's try 0 0.125. I don't think I tried that one. All right. That's beautiful also. Okay. So let's go to zero. I think I'm going to use the 0 0.0125 for my design. All right. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use that one. Let me see. 0, 0.0. Was it 25? Okay. I like this one too. But um, you have to keep playing with it to see which one you like and which one that you want to. Um, to use okay so i think i am going to use now this one is really nice to me it's at 0 0.022 okay so i'm going to do y'all and this is my first time doing this so i'm trying to find a um a spacing that i like okay so i'm gonna stick with this one this is the 0 0.025 i absolutely love it okay so now what we're gonna do while we're here on the rhinestone spacing we're just gonna look around at the rhinestones all right the rhinestones is looking pretty good there's no stones out of place or anything like that that i'm seeing right now okay so the next one I want to go down to, to where it says draw rhinestones and it says freehand. So this is totally up to you. If you would like to freehand and make your own uh, rhinestone, I don't use that. Okay. But it's totally up to you if you want to use it or try it. So let's go down to the next one that says release rhinestones. So we're going to, I'm going to be showing you about this one because this one again is if you have any, um, like if you had to did the radial feel, you would have had to, if you wanted to, to do release rhinestones, to move the rhinestones around, um, to add rhinestones, to take rhinestones out and all of that. But I'm going to show you that just in case you do or you need to do that. All right. So first of all, I want to talk to you about totals. As you see down here at the very bottom, it says totals and it says selected shapes. Now, this is really nice to have. I'm glad they have this because this here tells you 
how many rhinestones that you need in order to make your design. So as you see, there's zero in 6SS because I'm not using 6SS. There's 1,438 and the 10 SS because the 10 SS or SS tens is what I'm using. And as you see, there's zero in the other because I'm not using those. So just say for instance, these are my rhinestones here. Now this rhinestone bag says it has 14,400 pieces. So just say for instance, you were making this design like we're going to be doing. Um, you only need 1,438 rhinestones. I have more than enough rhinestones to make this template. So just say for instance, you only had 400 rhinestones, then you will know that you will need to order um, more rhinestones in order to make this template, or you need to change your design in order to make a template that uses the stones that you have. All right, so I just wanted to bring that up to you so that you always look here to make sure that the number of stones that is telling you you need, you have available. Okay, so next what we're going to do, we're going to come back to where it says release rhinestones because I told you I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so what you do is go ahead and click on release rhinestones. Now, depending on your speed of your um, internet, it may take a while for it to be released or it may not but let's go ahead and release it and see how long it takes my computer okay so I went ahead and clicked on it and we're going to see how long it's going to take all right so my computer is circling okay it did not take long all right so as you see you see all of the little um, areas here and you see the L the heart the V and the E is um, it looks highlighted, but what it is is little um, boxes around each and every one of the circles, which are you know the rhinestones here. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about this. So that's how it comes up when you press release rhinestones because now you can click. Uh -oh. Okay, if you click off of it, then the boxes are still around it, you just can't see it. But what you can do is take just say, for instance, you want to move a rhinestone. It may be a rhinestone in a uh, part of your design that you don't want. So what you can do, you see this little hand right here. It turns into a hand once you get up uh, to the rhinestones. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this rhinestone right here. As you see, when you click on it, the little box come up. You can take it. All right. And let's see. Okay. Okay, you can take it and you can move it out the way. Or if you want to put it back, you just take it and put it back in the area. Okay, but I'm going to uh, press this little arrow button. And what that does is take it back into its original um, like it was. I just want to show you how you can move your rhinestones around. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and... Um, group all of the rhinestones back together because you want to make sure everything is grouped because you don't want to move it and make a mess okay so i'm going to make sure every one of these letters are grouped together as you see the l the heart the v and the e all right so now what i'm going to do right click again go down to where it says group and group it all back together okay and Whenever my computer decides it wants to get back to where it's supposed to be. All right. So as you see, it has grouped together. Amazing, right? Super simple. Okay. Super simple. All right. So I clicked off. All right. What I'm going to do, just click back on it. All right. So I have shown you the basics of Silhouette Studio Business Edition in order to make a rhinestone template. So that's the basics. Okay, now we have a few more things that I want to show you. All right, so now we need to make this into a compound path, okay? And a compound path, I'm going to be cutting my design out on a Cricut Explorer Air because that's what I have. That's the only machine I've ever worked with. So in order to make uh, into a, I'm going to show you how to make it into a compound path, but in order to bring it over into Silhouette, we have to go and put it, I mean, to bring it over to Cricut, we have to go and make it into a compound path, okay? So what I'm going to do, I am going to click on it again. I'm going to right click. 
I'm going to go down to where it says make compound path. Do you all see that? Make compound path. So go ahead and click it. All right. So as you do, you did you see what happened when I made it into a compound path? It came up just like this. All right. Okay, so now what I want to do, I still see the colors and everything, but you still want to make sure that um, you want to make sure that the color, you want to go back and put the colors in because um, I think it removed the colors, but let's go back and check. Okay, so we're going to go back over to the right hand side. We're going to click on the fill panel. And um, yeah, it did remove it. Okay, so I'm just going to put the um color back remember i had the color light pink so i'm going to put the color light pink oh wait a minute i got it okay i didn't have it um i didn't have it uh highlighted okay so i want to put the color pink back on here all right so as you see the pink color is back all right and as you see right here you can tell that the color is back but also the red the line color is back so what we're going to have to do we're going to have to go and remove that so make sure you remember that when you're making it to a compound path you still need to go back put your color in and take any um line color out so i'm going to show you um i'm going to go back here to this left hand side click here and we're going to take the line color out because we do not want that remember the line color is going to be here we're going to click this little um but this little icon thing that looks like a I call it a triangle. I'm gonna click it. All right, and as you see, it um took away the red from around it. Okay, and the color is still the pink. And you still go back and check it just to make sure. All right, I just want to make sure it's still it is pink to make sure that that is all. Okay. All righty, y'all. Uh oh. I got clicked on. All right. So when you're working with it, just make sure that, you know, everything is good because sometimes you can click on something and, um, okay. Sometimes you can click on something and take it, take everything off and you may not realize it. Okay. So just always go back and double check. So as you see, my color is here. The red line is taken off. All right. As I zoom in just a look. All right. I want to check and make sure that my <clears throat> rhinestones, everything is looking good. There's no rhinestones that are stacked on top of each other there's none that is missing or anything like that you want to check all of that before you um you go ahead and you actually want to do it before you make it into a compound path and put your rhinestones in okay but i had already did that but just always go back and double check because you know if you did mess up something you may have to start over and that's one thing you don't want to do but you know if you if you have to start over then you just have to you have to do it because you don't want to, you don't want to, um, you don't want to do it wrong. Okay. All right. So I'm done with that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight it again. Okay. Make sure everything is grouped together. All right. Everything on the compound path, everything is like it's supposed to be. So now what we're going to do, we are going to go and save this. So in order to save your design, you have to go to file. Uh -oh. Okay, go to file. Go down to where it says save as. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go down to where it says save as and go to where it says save to hard drive. All right. And you have to save it as an SVG in order to upload it into Cricut Design Space in order to print it on your Cricut. Okay. So you go to save as, uh, save to hard, okay, go to save as, then go to save to hard drive. So I'm just going to click it. All right, wait for it to come up. Mm 
which it should be up in a minute. All right. So mine came up. And right here it says save as. I'm just going to type in love, L-O-V-E. And I'm just going to put Valentine's Day. All right. So you can either put, now I have a Mac. It may be different on a um, a Windows, but it says tag here. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to put tags, and I'm just going to say rhinestone for mine, okay? Just so I will know, okay? So also, okay, come down to the bottom. And like I said, yours may look different from mine because I'm working on a Mac computer. But mine says format, and it says Silhouette Studio V3. That's not what you want to save it as. You want to click on it and you want to go down because as you see, it's Silhouette Studio V3, V2, SVG, and all of those. You want to go here to where it says SVG. Click on it. All right. As you go back and make sure everything looks good, SVG, and say OK. All right. So once it does that, you can go to where you have to go to to make sure that it did say. All right. So, all right, so what we're going to do when I come back next time, I'm going to be printing out one my Cricut um, Explorer Air Machine. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you what all you need. You will need some, um, you will need your flock and you will need some other things also in order to cut it out. All right, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video, this very simple video. All right, I hope that you all enjoy your day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and come back. Make sure you turn your notification bells on so that you will know when I upload my new video, and that's when I will come back and show you how to cut it out on your Cricut. Um, like I said, that's the only machine that I have been working with. You may have a different machine, but I'm going to show you how to cut it out on a Cricut Explorer Air. All right, you all have a great day, and I will see y'all on my next. You all have a great day, and I will see y'all on my next video. Peace.